actually filming before 12 o'clock, which is a rarity for me. So yeah, this week's theme is books. Books. I like books. I read a lot of books. I missed last week's theme because I didn't know what it was. Why you got me doing the sandwich thing? Let's see, my books. Um, I actually have more than this, but quite a lot of them are in storage because they moved house. Okay, the first book is called Looking for a Basket. It's by some guy called John Green. Sounds like the type of guy who makes videos on the internet with his brother. Possibly, you know, that sort of. I didn't expect to like it that much. I thought, oh, it'll be so and so, but no, it's actually quite a good book. I got this, I think I got this one, Dead Cheap or something. Like, I got this one with a voucher and I thought, oh, this looks cool. It's really dirty because it was in my bag when it was in my bag. Got yeah. I didn't realise it was part of not a trilogy, I didn't realise it was part of like, what do you want to call a quadruple? I want to call it a foursome, but that sounds wrong, so yeah, I didn't realise it was part of um, And then I got these two on sale for £5 for both of them, and I thought that's really good because the recommended retail price is eight ninety nine. But I still need to get the Game of Thrones, so Smoke and Mirrors by Neil Gaiman. It's basically a collection of short stories, and if you haven't read any of Neil Gaiman's work, definitely recommend to start here because it's like, no, all sort of just like just little ones like the I got in my bag and it got really wet and it's like I'm really sad now because I can't well I can read it but I just yeah so I'm gonna probably burn another one of these because I don't like books being wet really not that wet anyway I can do it with like a little bit of you know been in the bath it's got a bit crinkle but this is just that's just ridiculous that is just no no just, just, I love this cover so much, just, look at shiny, you can't see really, you can see that, but, it's so shiny, it's so shiny, shiny, I'm like a magpie, I really am, <laughs> I'm just like, okay, okay, um, this, this one is called The Maze Runner, oh god, you, you, like, seriously, you need to read it, if you haven't read it, just, just read it, just, go out and get it, and sit at home, for like, while you go through it, because, Honestly, not a chore, you will actually love it. I'm actually, was actually halfway through the second book, The Scotch Trials, because this part of the trilogy is The Maze Runner, The Scotch Trials, and The Death Cure. I was halfway through The Scotch Trials, and I left it on a train. So, I'm actually gutted about that, because oh, I just want to know what happens. Okay, this is a book I saw on Amazon. It's 0 0.4 by Mike Lancaster. Now, I got it because I thought the cover was pretty cool. You see the hands, and they're all like, Bleh. And it's like kind of like the dystopian. I really, I'm really quite into dystopian type books at the moment. Like I've got the Hunger Games upstairs in my room in my chest of drawers, and I can't really be asked going up and getting it. That was good, by the way. You should re read that if you haven't. I'm just sort of into all that, like you know, nineteen forty year Viva Vendetta type thing. I just think it's really cool, like those type of books. So yeah, this this seems. Like one of those sci fi dystopian niche type books. Because like this one is called Winter Girls by Laurie Hall Sanderson. Again, I just sort of picked it up. So it's about a girl and her friend died, and in her hotel room, and she's got an eating disorder. And it's just like, it seems a bit repetitive. Maybe it's a bit better when you get to the end, but it's the moment it's just my friend died, my friend died, I can't have a muffin, my friend died. It just seems pretty boring, so I wouldn't recommend this, to be quite honest. Stephen King, Bold Dark to New Stars. This from my college library ages ago, and I never ever gave it back because I quit college, so, um, yeah, keep keeping this book from you, college. Just gonna keep it. I'm keeping it. I haven't read it yet. Da da da! Harry Potter. Yeah, and look, I like the way. And the box, it's like you've, you've ripped it open like a present. I think that's quite cool. Um, yeah, I wish you wanted to get the adults edition, but I got this for Christmas, and I'm quite glad my dad got me the children's one because after reading, I read the reason Amazon, and apparently the printing on the adults one is terrible. So I'm not really asked about what the cover looks like. It's about what's inside. Probably a Foster Stone is my favourite because she finds out he's a wizard, and it's really cool. And it's like, ah, oh, you're a wizard, Harry. And it's like, ah. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go now, okay? Yeah.